On this episode, we soar to the stars. Okay, so a lot of you might have heard about the uh, satellite that Ronald Reagan sent up into space, and on it he had all this information about the human species. He had stuff about our anatomy, our place in the solar system, and I think even the song Johnny Be Good. And I decided I was going to go ahead and try a similar thing. What I've got here is my own space box. And I'm going to be shooting it up into the stars with my connections to NASA. So I'm going to be filling it up with some objects I think aliens should have to tell us them about our human species. So let's take a look at the first object I'm going to be using. Hello, Mr. Lewis. Aren't you forgetting something? Oh, no. Uh, this is Greg. He was a part of my subconscious that escaped and gained physical form. It was another episode. What are you doing here, Greg? Well, I don't mean to intrude, Mr. Lewis. But I believe the last time I was here, you promised me an episode on fashion. Oh, yeah, well... How'd you even get in here, anyways? Oh, I just broke through the window. Look, Greg, I I'm working on another episode, and besides, I just don't really feel like you have a good idea for a show. Not a good idea? Hmm. Seth Lewis, what do you think are the most popular episodes on YouTube? Cat videos? Video game playthroughs? No, Seth Lewis. Fashion blogs. Makeup tutorials. Nobody really understands why these videos get so many views, but they do. And really, let's face it, you need a little bit of advice on your fashion. Come, Seth, you know you want to release me. You want to feel your own inner goddess. This part of your personality needs to be set loose. Otherwise, you'll never be able to be honest to your own YouTube family. You know, he might actually have a good point. Alright, I guess we're not doing this episode. Instead, we are going to be doing an episode about five different things you can wear. And I'm not talking about the normal things like suits and stuff. I'm talking about, like, trash and CDs. And, um, I guess I'm going to be embracing that side of myself. Call me trash man, I got no class man, I smell like garbage, I, 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 have no other verse. Yeah, I mean, you know, I really, um, should say something about this one, I feel like. I just, I feel like I need to say something. Uh, to be honest, it's pretty comfortable, actually. I gotta say, I understand why homeless people wear this stuff. It's really very loose, and it feels good. So saying that, it's kind of hard to walk around with a banana peel on your head. But other than that, I, I kind of dig this one. Walk in the catwalk. Walk in the catwalk. Stop being ironic. Merry Christmas, everyone! Okay, I got my bows here. I got my Christmas lights. And I got my Santa cape. I don't know if you can tell that's Santa. That's Santa. And, you know what, I think this calls for. And, over here. Oh, yeah! No, I'm liking this one. Okay, this one's definitely got the allure. What I'll say is that you can't wear this dress very far, otherwise you're going to have to unplug yourself. But maybe if you have a really long extension cord, you can make this work. Um, just for creativity, I'm going to have to give this one a good, good review. Okay, for this one I decided to go a little more plant, and this is a little more... Oh, I forgot my thingies. <laughs> no, I decided to go a little more plant on this one. Got the overalls. I'm actually wearing those shorts again. I decided to just wear those black and red striped shirts for every part of this catwalk. I don't know why. Anyways, what do you all think? If I was at the party, I would look like I just came out from the garden. This is kind of girl guys men are in, uh, girl, uh, girls are into. Um, I, I just really embarrassed myself there, didn't I? Yeah, this is the kind of guy girls are into. Garden. Yeah, he's out in the garden. He's making use girls some tomatoes. Alright, well, the only problem with this one is you can see, and I, I don't really... 
I don't really like this one, to be honest. This is my least favorite so far. Okay, before any of you get mad in the comments, in this next scene, I'm going to be portraying a stereotypical version of a woman. And this is just how I personally think women act. Oh, dear me, look at this place! I need to get my feather duster out! Oh, it's just such a mess! Oh, dear, I am a woman! Oh, dear! Well, this is just... Fully, this is what it is! I am walking... Oh, gosh, my boob fell out again! Oh, this happens every time of the month. Oh, dear. Well, I would just keep walking in these heels. Oh, oh. Um, actually, I, I've got to be honest. I'm just surprised I haven't been in a dress before this point. Okay. Retro man. Retro man here. I'm made out of all the technology. Of you kids out there, all the retro technology that is like CDs and got this Game Boy Color bag and it's got an actual Game Boy Advance in it. Uh, Pac-Man, you all like Pac-Man, right? All you kids. And of course, Frogger. You got Super Mario Bros. in there too somewhere. Retro Man. I don't really like this one. I'm just saying it. I just don't see anything particularly interesting about it. I mean, it's different, definitely. I, I still think you're gonna get weird looks if you go to the party, but... I, I just, I don't like this one that much. Alright, that's just me. But I will admit, it makes you look cool. Okay, there you go, Greg. I did the fashion episode. Are you satisfied? Yes, I, I believe that I am quite satisfied. But, of course, there are other sides of your personality that uh, would like their own compensation. The Fireside Tales version of you. Cheers. Yeah, I'm the redneck side of your subconscious. And I'm the nerd side of your subconscious. And I'm the Jamaican side of your personality. Yo, I'm Brad. I'm the hip-hop side of your subconscious. And I'm the uh, FedEx delivery man side of your personality. You have a package here you need to sign for. Wow, I didn't realize I had so many different personalities. Well, I mean, I can't make an episode about all of you. But as long as you're all here, you, you want a beer? Yeah, that sounds good, bro. You can count me in, too. Let's a party! And I say, hey, what a wonderful time of day! Where we can learn to love and play And get along with each other And I said, hey! What a wonderful time of day! Come on, come on! And we can learn to love and pray! I haven't drank this much since Comic-Con 2000. Everybody do the salsa! <sighs> get her done, that's right, get her done! <laughs> that's what we read next say, he said, get her done! Get her done! <laughs> Oh no, cameraman, we Russians have three vodkas for breakfast. We don't get drunk. And the moral of the story is... I don't actually know. But... I say... Hey! What a wonderful time of day! And we can learn to love and play! And something, 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 something! There's a Jamaican side in all of us.